One, what exactly is money? And two, what exactly is the money supply? By definition, money is any good that is widely accepted for the purposes of exchange and in the repayment of debts. Over the years, many items have been used as money. Coins and paper, yes, but also shells, furs, cigarettes. As long as the item is widely accepted for the purposes of exchange and in the repayment of debts, that item serves as money. To serve well as money, though, there are three basic functions of money that must be fulfilled. One, money serves as a medium of exchange. Without money, we would have to barter or trade, and transactions become much more difficult. Oh, barter works fine when there's a double coincidence of wants. You have something I want, and I have something you want. But if we don't, transactions become much more complex. Okay, here's an example. You want to learn economics, and I can provide that service for you. I want someone to babysit, and that's a service you can provide for me. But what if a student wants to learn economics from me and offers me golf lessons in return? I have no interest in golf, so that student will have to find someone else to trade with, then come back and trade with me. If only we had money, something we would all accept for exchanges, how much easier this transaction would be. Two. The second function money needs to serve is as a unit of account, i.e., money gives us a common measurement in which values are expressed. For example, what if there is no money and you want to learn economics at this college? There are multiple instructors. What if one wants to be paid in babysitting, another in computer help, and another in pet sitting, and so on? It becomes very difficult to tell who has the best price. But if every instructor charges in the same item, the accepted money, it becomes very clear who has the lowest price. Three, the third function that money needs to serve is as a store of value. That is, money maintains its value over time. This enables saving, lending, and borrowing. Do we need to have money? No, an economy could function without money, but transactions would be much more cumbersome. Money helps the economy move along more smoothly, reducing transactions costs.